Hello, I'm Chloe Reddish and I'm the Product Manager for Bug Club Phonics. I wanted to make a quick video to tell you about some of the updates that we've been making in your subscription. Um, all of these updates have come from teachers who've let us know different ways that we can make their experience better when they're using Bug Club Phonics. Um, we've got lots of updates live already and that's what I'm going to take you through in this video, but we're also still making updates. And if you want to check out the updates that we have planned and when you can expect to see them go live in your subscription, you can take a look at our roadmap. Um, I'll put the link for the roadmap below um, and I'll also put all of the different ways that you can get in touch with us uh, if you have any feedback about the updates or any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the future. So if I share my screen, um, we can take a look at what is live already. So the first place I'd like to show you is this new top level planning page. We've added a structure to this page, which gives it a bit more organization and hopefully makes it a lot easier for you to find what you're looking for. Um, and this is where you can find the new pace and planning documents. So we've got weekly and termly plans here. Um, they're flexible plans, so we've created them in Word documents so that you can download them and easily edit them. You can also find our updated magnetic boards here. Um, so teachers were telling us that these were great for follow on sessions or catch up sessions, but that they were finding the asset banks difficult to navigate. Uh, so we've added a filter, which means that you can drill down to the specific phase or unit that you're looking for words and pictures for. And then we've got our updated sound maps and grapheme charts here, um, and we've got two versions of each of these documents. We've got a color version, but also a simplified black and white version um, for any pupils that find the color version overwhelming or distracting. And then further down, we've got our actions for sounds videos. These were a really popular request from schools who wanted to be able to use an action to help children remember the different GPCs. We created these videos with two NQTs from one of our Bug Club Phonics schools. They're not compulsory to use with the program, but if you do want to use these, you can be confident that they match the Bug Club Phonics progression and the imagery used in the sound mats. The next place I'd like to show you that we've been updating is the lesson itself. Uh, we've included the actions for sounds down at the bottom of the lesson, so if your school are using these, you can find them linked to every lesson here. If I open up the lesson, you'll be able to see one of the big updates that we're making, and that's to update all of the sounds videos at the beginning of each lesson. We know that children find these videos really engaging, and we've worked with lots of teachers on updating these to make sure that they're still a really valuable addition to each of your lessons. We've also worked with lots of teachers to improve how these screens function in the classroom. And that's included things like adding a writing tool, which you can now access by clicking on this pen icon on the left. The final area that I'd like to show you is the classroom support area. So in this section, we've got the new Bug Club Phonics in Action videos. And this is a real teacher teaching a Bug Club Phonics lesson in school, which is great if you'd like to see how different aspects of the lessons are taught or to get an idea of what best practice looks like. And then in this section, we've got six new units of professional development for self-delivery. And these are on topics that teachers told us they wanted more guidance on, like best practice. And we've got a full parent presentation in here for introducing phonics to your new parents. Each one of these units contains a presentation, facilitator notes, and handouts to support the session. We've got six units live already, and we've got three more coming after Christmas. And then finally, we've included our frequently asked questions here in the support area. So we've got a link out to our question bank, which has got loads of great information in it. And this is something that we can keep updating in line with what teachers are telling us they want to know.